Today on the channel from Hasbro and Fortnite, we've got Dio and Siona, the Target exclusive. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Hasbro Fortnite unboxing and review. Something we dabble with on the channel, by no means do I know anything about Fortnite, do I follow Fortnite, but I do follow the mantra of, gotta get a deal, and that's exactly what I did on this two-pack of Dio and Siona. Once again, I have no idea who they are, but they're two astronauts with green hair. What's there not to love? But Apparently, this is a Target exclusive two-pack, and for all your other Fortnite stuff from Hasbro, you, I'm sure you can get them at Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below, as I always say. But I am not in the circles of Fortnite. I don't play Fortnite. I just see what I see on the shelves, and when I find things on clearance like this... Now, this thing was a $40 two-pack. $40! I can't believe that, but I guess that is the way right now. 40 bucks, but guess what, old Kyle? He swooped in. He saw the clearance end cap and saw this for $13.99, $14.11, something like that, but around 14 bucks for this two pack. I said, you know what? I'm going to give it a whirl. I'm going to see what all the fuss is about. Is there any fuss? I don't know if there is, but we're going to see if 14 bucks can't really go wrong. I like to put my Fortnite stuff, as you guys know, with some of my Marvel Legends. Two astronauts, that might work. If not, maybe I pop the heads off, do something. Who knows? But I said for $14, it's worth checking this out and maybe uh, you guys will enjoy it or maybe you guys know something about it. Who knows? We'll see where it goes. But as usual, we're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So let's kick it off. Let's look at this two pack. Now, traditionally, we see these in single packs. I don't know if there's been another two pack yet. There probably has been. I see some of those like glider packs and stuff out there. None of those have really caught my eye yet. Uh, but for 14 bucks on clearance, this one did enough of damage. Now, this is the wave of the future. Uh, a lot of us, like myself, do not like it. But with the environmental laws, saving the environment, I get it, all that stuff. You're mostly all cardboard box with very lin little window packaging. Uh, Hasbro could do this with Fortnite as they just gained the license this year in 2022. So might as well start this way because nobody knows any different. But if you compare it to the old Jazzwares ones... A lot to be desired here, if you ask me, but I would not be shocked. We've already seen with Transformers a little bit like this. We're going to see our Marvel Legends. We're going to see our G.I. Joe Classifieds in boxes like this. Really could be the end of the Min on Box collector days because there's really not a lot of excitement. You can't really put this on a wall. It doesn't give you the same feeling as the big bubble window and so forth. So I don't know what the future holds. I just don't think it looks good for a classy Min on Card collection. That's me. Maybe you're different. Maybe you really like this pack. I don't know. Uh, but the packaging just leaves a lot to be desired. But for a kid that's going to open it up, who cares? This is totally fine for a kid out there. Fortnite Victory Royale Series. No idea what that is. Sounds good, though. We got all kinds of warnings here. 8 and up. We got a little hologram. Epic Games. Hasbro. Dio and Siona. Are they brothers? Are they sisters? Are they grandpas and grandmas? Uh, are they animals? I don't know what they exactly are, but I guess they're astronauts from somewhere. Uh, we do get some weapons in here. It does show it and does show some stuff right here, but it's your typical Hasbro Fortnite box. Like I said, I did prefer the Jazzwares ones of the prior years. Uh, you got UPC's warnings on the bottom. Nobody cares about that. Then you get a little bit of uh, action here. We got warnings. We got a uh, cross sell. No, no cross sell. Nothing. Just warnings down there. And then it does show some of their weapons. Not a lot going on here. No explanation, no nothing. Just kind of kind of plain Jane. So uh, we'll see. We'll see if there's any fusses. Oh, my gosh. Rookie. See you later. Get out of here. Rookie unboxing here. What are we doing? What are we doing? Nothing else in there. There it is. See you later up high. Goodbye. The cardboard prison, I guess we'll call this. It's not... Oh, my gosh. It's a mess, too. Oh, we got baggies falling out. But we, that's what the prison is. It's no plastic prison. It's a cardboard wall prison. And then, unfortunately, we are taped down with twist ties. So I'm going to have to take this offline and clean all that up. That's, that's a bit of a mess. But we got all of our weapons here. Uh, and they're in these, like, paper film, parchment paper-esque baggies, which is a little strange. We got that. See you later. Goodbye. You get another one out. How about... I don't know what I think about this. It's, it's just weird. It's just, it just doesn't feel right, but it's tough. Change is tough. See you later, especially for a guy like me. I just hate change. I want things to just stay the same. Some people love change. 
I'm not a change guy. Uh, I'm just not. But this is weird with these being in little baggies to me. And it is what it is. Oh, I gotta do that again. That was a mess. Boom! See you later. I got it right through the uprights of the uh, ring light. That was amazing. Uh, what, what, the more you learn, the more you know. Let's look at these accessories. And I'm gonna take this offline and cut these guys out. Uh, but we got this thing. This thingamajig, we'll call it. I have no idea what this weapon is. Once again, it's probably in the Fortnite, but... Nice handle, it's like a, a creamsicle. You got an orange and white, nice green, kind of a really light green on here. Almost looks like a whale or something. I don't know what it is. I guess it's a big stone. Uh, it's got a little bit of a horn on it. Almost looks like it has eyes, but I don't know what this is. It's like a big pickaxe almost with, with a stone at the end. And then we get these two weapons, very Nerf-esque. Once again, these aren't hitting me where I want to be hitting the feels for sure. Uh, very futuristic, almost Lego-like kind of pickaxes once again is what it is. I, I don't know what any of this stuff is. These are all terrible accessories. I'm, I'm calling a spade a spade. For what I'm looking for, these accessories aren't for me. I don't know. This is like a little astronaut thing, and it's got a lot of scuffing on the white, so the paint apps are a little bit of a mess here. It looks like it's a little like a ball inside of a, a globe. And then we get multiple globes here. Do these fit together? It's kind of the same little thing. It almost looks like a little planet. I don't know if it's supposed to fit in here, and you put it together um hmm hmm doesn't seem to fit so i i don't know uh, honestly these accessories are an absolute waste of time for somebody like me uh you might be different you might be a little kid out there watching playing fortnite and stuff but th there's nothing exciting and i don't want to say oh i need guns i need real weapons but I, I need a little pistol i need something i need something with my action figures not not any of these make-believe weird kind of nerf toys not for me not for me so uh, a ma mighty fail, unfortunately, on these accessories. Uh, we're going to turn our attention to the figures. Let me unbox them. Let's see where it goes. Fingers crossed I like these. All right, like a young Aerosmith, we're back in the saddle again. We got some cardboard pieces. See you later. See you later. See you later. See you later. Uh, cardboard aplenty in this. No plastic, though. So, uh, obviously, cardboard is a little easier to produce and recycle, I think, uh... I think more cardboard is recycled than plastic, so that probably beats that, but it just feels like it's a waste no matter what you do, and I'd prefer the plastic. I did miss this. I did miss one baggie, uh, so pull that out, and we do, like, so the answer to my prayers are here. As I was just uh, talking about, the lack of weapons really was disturbing on this and really ruined it for me. Well, there you go. We got two weapons right here. We got a big old machine gun. Nice desert kind of can or not camo, but desert tan with black accents. That looks really good, actually. This would be at home in the G.I. Joe classified line. As, of course, Hasbro makes these figures now. Uh, you can get a little reuse. I can see some people buying these just for the weapons. And then you get a beautiful uh, machine gun. Uh, we talked about this in another video on the channel recently. Can't remember what kind of uh, weapon this is, but it's got the little clip there. It's red on the black green handle this really makes up for this is these two will have these weapons if they have any at all i don't know what this hot garbage is this pile of hot garbage over here not for me these two weapons sign me up all day long now we get down to the characters that i have no afflict affliction affliction i have no affinity affinity I, I gotta work on it but no affinity towards these characters i've already forgot their name dio and siona or something now, are these two astronauts in the Fortnite world? I'm not exactly sure. One is female, one is male. We'll start with the female one first. First thing I noticed, and I could even tell in the package, was the extreme giraffe neck on this one. Uh, long, long neck, and then you get the head that turns at the top. The neck does turn. No, the neck does not. It is stuck in there. But a lot of movement for this head all around, up, down, just tons of mobility. But, man, that neck seems a little bit long, and the head seems a hair small to me. Uh, we get a lot of crazy colors on this. Obviously, it looks like an astronaut suit for sure. But uh, then it looks a little strange with uh, the greens and the oranges and the black. And then, of course, the bright green hair uh, really makes this look a heck of a lot different. And I'm not sure if these heads pop off. They do pop off very easily. Uh, is this what goes around the body? Is this, what, is this like build an astronaut? Is that what we got going on here? I don't know if... I, I'm guessing that is the case. Uh, you put these on somehow. I might have to play around with it for the glamour shots. We'll see if that is the case. But it looks like this maybe slides right over and then you put the head over it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm still not really feeling this. I got to think that is the case because the head comes off easy on this one. 
A lot of different sculpting going on here. We do got single jointed elbows, but double jointed knees. So we do get some articulation. Uh, ankle rockers are all over the place. You can do anything you want with these ankles. Uh, not a very big figure, the female one here, um, but, but the hands and arms are very big. So it is a little interesting, uh, some of that going on. But it is it does scream astronaut, especially if it had a helmet on, or at least a, a fighter pilot, something like that. But uh, orange accents throughout kind of is what it is. But I'm not exactly sure. I got to feel like these go together somehow. I mean, they, they just feel like they got to. And maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. I, I don't know what I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm buying Fortnite figures on clearance at Target. What has happened to my life? That's the, the million dollar question. But there's this one. Then we get the male version here. Same colors throughout. Uh, he does have a very punchable face. Just looks like a cartoon character you'd want to punch in the face. I bet he's really annoying in the game. But just the vibe I get. It's just the vibe. Uh, but a, much similarities to the other one. It looks like we do have double jointed elbows on this one. But we do not on this one. So we have double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. Thigh swivel, uh, bicep swivel, yep. We got all the articulation on the male. The female, unfortunately, not the case. Uh, ankle articulation, more astronaut-esque, and you got a little cables hanging off his belt. Uh, a very, very long torso, midsection there. Very long, very kind of weirdly long on him. Uh, once again, you get green hair going on. The head is removable. I don't know. I'm guessing these have to go on their head, and I'm sure I'll figure it out when I play with it for a while. The bigger one is probably for him. The smaller one is probably for her. Let's see if I can pull his head off and see if I can figure it out on the fly. Figure it out on the fly. Uh, I don't look like it's going to happen. Pull that back a little. There we go. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out for the glamour shot, or guess what? Maybe I won't, but... I can tell you my final verdict on these guys. Uh, 14 bucks. still I feel like I overpaid for these. Maybe it's because I don't know Fortnite. If you're a Fortnite fan, maybe this is a great deal. But for what I know about action figures and for what I'm looking and stuff, I felt like $9.99, I'd feel like I got my money's worth on this. But 14 I don't know. This is kind of the most disappointing uh, unboxing on the channel we've had in quite some time, unfortunately. Just not a lot here. Not a lot of meat on the bone. And maybe it's not my own fault here, just thinking of the eyes and thinking of what I know. There's not a lot for me here. I guess I was just hoping for something a little bit cooler. Uh, at the end of the day, the weapons could get some good use out of them. Uh, maybe that is what it's worth. It's worth 14 bucks for these two weapons. Maybe I'll try to justify it myself that way. Uh, I don't know. Do these guys fit on a ringside collectible stand? They do have peg holes. Let's see. Ooh, they fit like a glove. So if you're looking to do some of that, look at that. You can even put them with one leg. Uh, so we do have uh, stand opportunities here with the ringside stands if you are so inclined on these guys. Uh, one difference from the Fortnite Jazzwares figures from the Hasbro, uh, the no hand articulation and toe articulation on Hasbro that we had with Jazzwares. So some people might say that's a step back. I do have a couple of my favorite Jazzwares ones. You got Wild Card here. You got Peely. So they all they work in the same universe. So that's great for Jazzwares collectors. You can transfer over and you can really mix and match these guys without any problems. So that is a good thing. Uh, if you ask me, that's a good thing. But yeah, it is what it is. I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments. Maybe there's something I missed here. Maybe there's something better. Maybe there's something I'm missing. I don't know. Maybe there isn't. But you tell me your thoughts on these. Let me know if you picked them up. And like I said, if you're interested in these, they might be at your target for $14 or even less right now. Uh, might be worth picking up if uh, this is your kind of thing. Or you got a little kid or something that is into Fortnite. Could be a cheap uh, Easter present coming up here very, very soon. So there it is. A little Fortnite action. You let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow along on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And of course, support the channel on Patreon. Get brand new videos weeks, sometimes months earlier than YouTube and some classic videos, some early videos, some giveaways, uh, exclusive videos, all kinds of fun on Patreon. And then of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Support the channel. Pick up a t-shirt. I'm actually wearing one today. So there you go. Uh, ProWrestlingTees.com. Support the channel. So for a little Fortnite Hasbro, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.